Hey, I want to show you how you can optimize your scene for character animation in Cinema 4D. Um, because many people complain about the slow viewport in Cinema 4D. And that's because the viewport gets slow with many objects and also with many expressions. Um, the thing is, expressions in Cinema 4D are mostly single threaded and that's bad and I hope that changes soon but for now we have to deal with it and also with the limit of objects you can handle I found that around 10,000 objects it's getting too slow to work with um, effectively so you need to start to organize your scene and use the layer browser to disable uh, many objects and stuff like that but um, we want to see how we can manage uh, to work with a character in Cinema 4D because the viewport in Cinema 4D is pretty good, it's really good and um, the bad reputation is just um, because of these limitations so we can do something about it, let's see so we have one character here from the content browser which is a character object template which is a procedural rigging system and this is driven by a procedural animation generator so quite a complex um, setting here we get a lot of joints and a lot of constraints um, for having a realistic scenario I want to work with um, let's say four characters so I copy the character here a few times and don't wonder why you don't see the characters I will show you that I don't know if that is a bug or something but if you disable the C motion object and enable again it will show up correctly so it just needs to refresh Okay, so let's say we want to work with four complex characters. Usually, I mean, you would have, I guess, two main hero characters and some other characters which are not that complex in the background, but you should, <laughs> I mean, if you work on a big project with a lot of character animation, you should have maybe two or three versions of your character um, which are built more complex and a more simple version so you don't deal with that many objects and try and so um, let's check out what we have here in the browser so we have 14 character objects which is the rigging um, template system we have four C motion objects for cloth surface, for subdivision surface and 2700 joints and we have skin deformers and stuff like that 800 splines and we have 436 constraint tags 72 IK tags and uh, spline IK we have four motion systems we have 88 post morphs and we have 150 expresso tags so this is a really heavy scene if we play it we see we work at 4 frames per second so this is nothing we can work with and I guess this is the reason why people complain <laughs> no wonder so the first and most obvious thing I can do is deactivating some generators like the cloth surface and the hypernerves, the subdivision surface. So I right click in this, um, if I enable this icon here and I right click on on a object here, I can select all hypernerves and I can just disable them. So we are going from 4 frames to per second to 6 frames so this is a big step <laughs> but not enough 
And I found a um, very big factor um, can be the joint display in the viewport. So just by disabling the display of the joints can help a lot. So we have now seven frames per second. And if I disable joints in the fil display filters, we get like 10. So we get three more frames per second. That's already good, but not good enough. So let's keep checking what's causing the frame rate. And 10 frames per second. So the next thing I found out is that the character object itself is slowing down the scene. As this is a procedural animation or rigging tool, you might <laughs> want to keep it, but I would say if you have your rig set up and you don't need to change so much with your propor proportions of the rig, then you are safe to convert this object. You are still able to do weight change, changes and stuff like that, and you um, still can also change the rig completely without the character object. The character object just makes it easier to um, change the position of your controllers and stuff like that. But if you are set with your character design and if everything is sorry is set, you you are safe to converted I would say. So I let's say we have now 10 frames per second. Let's select all character objects and just hit C to con convert. This will take a bit. Now you see we have um, a full hierarchy of objects and we have not um, the character object anymore. So we are having now 12.5 frames per second. So this is again two, two or more frames. And now I want to check um, what we can do with the tags and the deformers. So to check globally what's causing the slowdown, you can go to Tools, Execution, and here you can disable specific calculations for the complete scene. So I play the scene with 12 frames. If I now disable Deformers, which of course is not really, really useful for animation, but you can see this also doesn't change anything with the viewport um, performance. So in this case we can keep the deformers on, it doesn't change anything. Let's deactivate generators and this will cause quite a speed up. So generators can really be a factor. And this, of course, means that all the splines won't work because splines are generators. And this means my controllers disappear. The thing you can do about it is you can build your, um, your controllers um, with polygon objects. And I do that and I think it's much better to work with because um, if you have polygonal objects in your viewport, it's also more s simpler to select them. So instead of having a circle spline for these controllers, you could just take a torus and use this as a controller. So you just make a thin torus, make it quite low poly, I think that's enough. And now you can use the replace tool to replace these controllers. That's a lot of work in this case, but um, if you set up your character, you should 
try to do this in the beginning and have all controllers polygonal. And this has quite a few advantages and also speeds up the viewport because splines are generators and they they can cause quite a lot of slowdown. And you don't want to disable generators globally because this will also make the eyes in this case disappear because the eyes are made of spheres and spheres are generators. So I won't do that now but keep in mind um, that splines are slowing down the viewport. Another thing I found is um, the C motion slows down everything. So I guess usually you, you wouldn't work with C motion objects um, if you do character animation. This is more for doing walk cycles and maybe some other procedural like um, motion graphics or stuff like that. But um, in most um, character animation you would not do that. So let's disable them and you see we get 16 frames per second. So keep that in mind that each um, procedural animation will also slow down the complete setup. So um, if you have keyframes on your characters that's uh, faster than this system. Mm, okay, so but let's keep it on to check what we can do about the um, expressions. So I will go to the tags here and I will one by one disable some of the expressions. So let's select all constraint tags. And let's disable. As you can see, these are not doing so much difference. So I will keep them on. It's um, a frame or so. 1.5 frames per second. But um, the constraint tags are much needed, so I will leave them. Um, the IK and spline IK, we, we need them too. So we cannot just disable them. Um, let's see what the post morph does. If I disable them, I see um, we get quite a speed up, but we cannot just disable them because in this case it will cause the rig not to function. Um, let's see what the Expresso does. So select the Expresso tags. And if you look into one of these tags, this is one tag and they do quite a bit of um, uh, stuff like range map and math nodes. So this is one of 150 tags and I guess that they do quite a bit. So let's select them and just disable them. And this also speeds up everything. Um, but this also means that many things of the rig doesn't work anymore. For example, here you see that the foot um, uh, rolling and stuff like that is not working anymore. So keep that in mind. You cannot just disable everything. But you can see that some things are still working without the express, uh, Expresso tags. So what you can do if you build this rig is you could um, make some options and um, switches to disable and enable parts of the express, Expresso tags. So you could build a um, button where you can let the animator decide to disable and enable 
these uh, you could if you know Python you could also um, do something like just enable the expressions on render time or stuff like that um, yeah so there is some ways to even um, take care about this but for now I think we don't want that it's a more complex setup which you can do but when you build the rig um, so I think we did already quite a bit we are now at um, 13 frames per second and if we would uh, not work with the C motion let's disable them we would have 17 frames per second and if we would um, let's select all splines and disable them we would have about 18 frames per second so 18 frames per second for four very complex character rigs is quite good I would say so you could work with four characters animating them and you could even have more characters in your scene in the background which are simpler if you have simple uh, rigs versions of this so also you could um, of you should of course work with X refs so you could easily turn off and on um, certain rigs and also you can use the layer browser to disable stuff you don't need so you could disable all the generators and expressions for a certain rig or stuff like that so to recap um, you can go from 4 frames per second to 18 frames per second if you disable joint display if you um, convert your character object if you disable subdivisions and um, what else did we do we um, uh, convert uh, disable the C motion we don't need that and yeah so quite a few things you can do to speed up and I hope you can now work easier with characters in Cinema 4D. Bye bye!